Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. reindeer. Had a very we are condemned to useless labor. Fourth circle of hell. Charting goes a lot faster when you eliminate all classic poetry. Writing down what we already know to be read by nobody. Pretty sure Dante would agree that qualifies as useless. You're over two weeks behind in your charting. Oops, I missed. What are you, eight? Could an eight-year-old do this? You better stop or it'll stick that way. You have a patient in exam one. Yeah, but see, I'm, I'm off at 12 and it's already five off. She's been waiting for you since 11. Melancholy without hope. Which circle is that? Hi, I'm Dr. House. What seems to be the problem? Show him your hands, Augustine. It looks like stigmata. Shh. Pious? You must be all a talk around the holy water cooler. Washing a lot of dishes recently? I help out in the kitchen. Anything new in the kitchen? We just got a donation of saucepans and pots this week. I unpacked and washed them. You should have spent your time saving souls. It's easier on the hands. This is contact dermatitis. You're allergic to dish soap. <laughs> Nonsense. We've always used that soap. Why is there a problem now? Oh, I've been a doctor for years. Why do I have to keep assuring people that I know what I'm doing? A person can become allergic to substances that they've had repeated and prolonged exposure to. The good news is, free samples. Diphenhydramine, it's an antihistamine. It'll stop the allergic reaction. Take one every eight hours. It might make you feel a little sleepy and get some of that over-the-counter cortisone cream. Thank you, doctor. You want some water? I have some tea. Well, you just relax for a few minutes. This stuff works pretty fast. Still out by 12. How do you solve a problem like dermatitis? What? Doctor, I want to thank you for your patience. Is she talking to you? I don't know. She's certainly looking at me. Oh, it's good to get a secular diagnosis. The sisters tend to interpret their illnesses as divine intervention. And you don't? And you're wearing an awfully funny hat. Oh, boy. Excuse me. If I break my leg, I believe it happened for a reason. I believe God wanted me to break my leg. I also believe he wants me to put a cast on it. Doctor, something's wrong. Lift up your chin. Sister, you're having an asthma attack. I need you to relax. Roll up her sleeve, please. I'll give you epinephrine. Open your lungs and help you breathe. What happened? Did she take the pill? Yes. It's probably an allergic reaction. She's allergic to an anti-allergy medicine? You figure somebody's out to get her. How are you feeling? on some steroids instead. Is my heart supposed to be feeling so funny? It's called adrenaline. It makes your heart beat fast. But not this fast. Get a nurse, please. Help! Somebody help us! Somebody get in here! Call a code and charge up a defibrillator. She's got no pulse. Diagnosed the patient with allergies and prescribed antihistamine. She went into respiratory distress and you injected her with epinephrine. Presumably one cc. Point one cc. That is the standard dose. That is what I gave her. People don't go into cardiac arrest from point one cc epinephrine. She must have a pre-existing heart condition that got exacerbated by the epinephrine. It's too bad you didn't make a notation in the chart. 
I can make it up right now. But you are syringes with both dosages. You could have easily reached for the wrong. But I did. Everyone makes mistakes. This is why doctors pay for the nose for malpractice insurance. Relax, they're not gonna sue. Worst they do is whack my hand with a ruler. And the discipline board, are they gonna whack your hand too? You're gonna report me? What choice do I have? Uh, how about not report me? I can justify keeping her here for a 24 hour observation. If you haven't found an underlying cause of the cardiac arrest by then, I will have to notify our attorneys. Her hands were red and swollen. Maybe she has a skin infection, cellulitis. That could manifest with tachycardia. There's no history of fever. The results from the CBC didn't indicate an infection. Yeah, Cinefels are mildly elevated. Sun rates up a bit. Could we be looking at a systemic allergic response? It's not allergic. Allergies don't cause cardiac arrest like this. It could be inflammation of the blood vessels. Vasculitis? That wouldn't give you an elevated eosifenol count. Church Strauss vasculitis would. Blood vessels at the heart, lungs, and skin become inflamed, causing miasma, rash, and heart problems. Yeah. Covers all her symptoms. You need a biopsy to diagnose. Just to tell you, be quicker. The lady just came in with a rash. What the hell are those? Candy canes? Candy canes? Are you mocking me? No. It, it's Christmas, and I, I, I thought. Relax. It's a joke. Isn't the prognosis for Church Strauss a bit grim? Yeah. Untreated, only 33% of patients survive past a year. Treated five years. Then I definitely suggest treatment. If it was any other attending doctor, I'd say that he made a mistake and gave her too much epinephrine. Saying he wouldn't say it was my mistake, saying it was my mistake. Everyone screws up. Your rule. I think you fit within the subset of everyone. I didn't screw up. Order a chest CT and start the cyst around prednisone, 40 milligrams TID. The sister? What didn't I mention? The patient's a nun. Sister Augustine. I hate nuns. Who doesn't? 